questions, it just remains for me to uh, thank uh, Yvonne, who uh, put her uh, name to the, uh, to the response, and for the officers and the time uh, that they put into that. It's uh, appreciative. Thank you. Okay. So we just uh, recommend to note the report. Okay, agenda item eight. Uh, this is a response to uh, concerns and comments that have been made about uh, the pension fund investment in the tobacco industry. Uh, if you remember, it was discussed in, in some detail and has been in previous meetings. And so this uh, report um, presented to us by Peter this evening is, um, and it, which includes, includes some appendices, uh, is a response to that with a recommendation. Yes, thank you, Chair. Under section two, I just outlined some of the work that we've done so far. Um, we organised a seminar on responsible investment, which was attended by representatives from the fund and from other local property funds in the region. At the Pensions Committee in July, uh, the report we brought mentioned the QC's opinion on fiduciary duty. And then, more recently, officers have been gathering information specific to the fund. At the Governance and Risk Working Party in July, the subject was discussed by members, and I said that I provided some interim information to the next pensions committee. So I've done that as part of this report. Uh, I've attached three reports. Firstly, WM, which is the performance measurement organisation, which is part of State Street. They produced uh, an extract, which I've included <coughs> in appendix one, and then I've included uh, two reports that have been produced by other <coughs>
So can I ask, ask us all to encourage our, our fellow members to attend these training events? It is important that we do so, and, uh, and in fact, we, I'm going to uh, talk to Emma about perhaps doing a joint letter from herself as chair to uh, members to encourage them to attend, particularly this event as it's on our doorstep. So perhaps if we can just uh, make a note of the dates and uh, encourage our fellow members to, to make themselves available if that's possible. So we're happy to note the contents of the reports and the recommendations. Yeah, just make a, yep. an, an observation. Sorry. Day two, it starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. Are we night hours or something? Is this the kind of a joke? Well, it's a breakfast, isn't it? By invitation only, that particular event. So I'm not sure that we'll all be invited to attend it, but it's an invitation only breakfast. That's my understanding of it. So if you don't get an invite, you can stay in bed. If we get an invite, I'll stay in bed. There you go. All right. Okay. Thanks for that comment, Harry. Otherwise, we're happy to recommend to agree to the recommendation. Thank you. Right. Again, the next uh, agenda item is to do with uh, a LAFA conference, uh, which is <coughs> held in Bournemouth, and uh, Peter wants to get on and introduce this item to us. It's in Bournemouth uh, in December, which is an ideal time to visit Bournemouth. It's uh, runs from the 30th of December. Uh, because the chair of the committee is generally on the executive board of LAFA, the chair has always attended last year. Council of Watts also attended. The response and investment taken by my program is <coughs> that the total number to parties first persons on this occasion, but clearly it is for this committee to determine who should attend um, and in what numbers. Um, but we're recommending attendance at the conference by yourself and parties first persons. Thank you, Chair. Agreed. Okay, are we happy with that recommendation? Agreed. Agreed. The annual employee, employers conference, uh, which is uh, our own conference, and um, over to you. Thank you, Chair. Yes, this is the this afternoon conference, uh, which is going to take place on Thursday, the 27th of November, at Aintree Race Course. Uh, members are invited and encouraged to attend this conference. As stated in Item 2.3, uh, officers will de deliver presentations on the investment performance and Further from actually producing this report, we actually have confirmation of the external speakers. I'm happy to inform you <coughs> to that Tony Midden, who is a senior investigator in the Office of, Office of the Pension Ombudsman, has agreed to actually present at the annual conference. He will go through uh, employee discussions and will use actual case studies of where employees can actually be um, at risk if you don't get the discussions within the MDPS with perhaps the present or the dangers of not actually being correct. Also, Paul Whittleman will actually has agreed to speak at the uh, Employees Conference as well. Um, the topic will be um, something to be agreed, but um, Paul is an excellent presenter and I'm sure members will actually uh, enjoy his presentation. The resource implications are under 8.1. Cost of holding the conference is estimated at £6,500, a provision for which is contained within the budget. Under the reasons for the recommendation, best practice guidance issued by the ETLG recommends that administrative bodies provide a forum outside of pensions committee by which the interests of key stakeholders can be represented. And feedback from attendees has consistently demonstrated the value that employers place in the opportunity presentations on topical issues and receive reports on current performance activity and performance. Thank you, Chair. That takes place. Okay, thank you, Guy, for that. So lots of dates for our diary. Um, it's on the 27th of November um, and it's local. So once again, we encourage members to attend. Um, have we got any questions for Guy on it? No, so happy to uh, note the recommendations. Great. Thank you. So, a further seminar, agenda item 12. Uh, this one is um, sponsored by Grant Thornton, and uh, Peter once again will give us details. Yes, thank you, Chair. This is in Liverpool on the 22nd of October. 